Hi friends, Christine with Essentially Styled. Today I want to talk about the unsung hero, our bobby pins. Lilla Rose bobby pins are like no other bobby pins I've ever come across. Usually you can find the, the super strong bobby pins, but they're not decorative. Or you find the decorative bobby pins, but they're really cheaply made and very flimsy. And with typical bobby pins, you get one, maybe two uses if you don't lose them. Out of them. With Lilla Rose Bobbies, they are so sturdy and strong. They hold amazingly well, so they're not falling out of your hair. So you still have the potential to lose them if you're not careful when you take them out, which I will show you the careful way to take them out as well. Um, but they really are unique. So if you would like to see more of these tutorials, be sure and subscribe down below and hit the red bell for notifications if you don't want to miss any. But we will get started, and like I said, I'm going to do five styles um, with our bobbies. Now, we've got all kinds of the bobbies. So all kinds of decorations for every taste, all kinds of finishes. We've got gold, silver, bronze, um, black nickel, you name it. We've got lots of bobby options. So we have some that have the decoration all the way down. If you can see those be those are individually wired stones on. Uh, we've got some with some bigger decorative things. We have some dainty, uh, everything from flowers to critters, um, really pretty, all kinds of stones. So lots of options with them, and you can mix them up for these styles. Some of these are gonna that I'm going to show you will work better with one particular style or the other. So I'm going to start, I wish I had, I'm going to show you a technique. I wish I had the other one. I think I had planned to use the other, this is the new poppy. We have a red poppy as well, and they look so pretty together. But I sold one at the show, and I haven't received my next order yet. So I only have the one poppy. But I'm going to show you this trick. Um, with this one to hide the pin. So it's just a, I'm going to leave some, some hair down and I'm just going to take a little bit of hair up and I'm going to start with the pin. I just put my nail in, in there to separate it a little bit, not a lot. And I'm going to slip that bobby upside down so you can see that the embellishment is face down on the head. Then I'm going to keep contact with my head as I flip that over and slide it toward the twist. And then, so you can see, I have the decorative part showing without the rest of the pin. So it just kind of pulls it back. Much prettier than a little claw clip, but it's doing kind of the same thing. And it kind of gives it that roll when you flip it over. It gives it that nice finish. So if I had another one, so I'm going to show you another one since I don't have that pretty red poppy to go with it. Before I do that, I'm going to show you when I take them out, I'm going to hold the decorative part with my thumb and put underneath and then I'm going to put my fingers besides both sides and I'm going to slip that bobby out. Now even before I take it completely away I'm going to slick my thumbnail in there to pull it away because they are so tight they will grip hair and we don't want you to lose any hair. Lilla Rose products are all about protecting the hair so we include how to take them out. <laughs> so that was the the poppy. So instead I'll use the posy. And I do like this set because it's got two different sizes. So you have the larger posy and then the smaller um, posy. But I'm going to do the same thing, kind of stacking those. And I'm going to start with the bigger one, I think. I do the same thing. I'm just going to stick my thumbnail in there to open it up a bit. Stick it in upside down. Flip it over. Keep contact and then slide it up into that twist. So hopefully, I don't feel like the pin showing. Sometimes you have to work that pin. Is the pin showing? It's so hard without a mirror. A little bit, but not much. So I'm gonna keep going. Then you take your smaller one, or your second bobby. Doesn't have to be small, they can be the same size. I just like mixing it up. I'm gonna do just a little bit lower. And again, flip it over and angle it back up toward the twist. So hopefully I've got those both pieces showing the decorative part with the pins hiding underneath the hair. So um, you can do that on both sides, one side. I kind of like it one side. I like the dimension of doing just the one side. So that's an option. And again, I'm gonna take those out. I'm gonna slide them up, hold onto that hair Put my nail in it before pulling it completely away. Okay, see, so 
All right, so those are the options for hiding the pin. Now there are times I just like to stack the bobbies. And this is one of the ones that we have really cute little uh, little flowers. I don't know if they're daisies, um, but very, very small and dainty. You can also stack, actually I'm probably gonna do this on this side. Let's try this. Where I keep the, the pins, I'm gonna try and keep them parallel. So I have them, I'm gonna stack them. But again, I like them just offset so they're not completely even. So, but this has the embellishment all the way up the side. So there you go. So you can just, if you just want to pull one side back or you're working with bangs and you want to keep them on one, on one side or just pulled back, you can even stack that way. But that's another option is stacking them. And again, pulling them out the same way. Oh, no hair. Yay. All right. Now I'm going to show you a ponytail. And you're thinking, how are you going to do a ponytail with uh, bobby pins? It's a wrapped pony. And if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you have seen this um, with other accessories. I do it with a mini accessory. You can do it with the extra, the, the mini flexi. Um, the extra small bobby pins, I'm trying to think what else have I got for, with a swerve view pins. So there's a lot of um, styles you can do with a wrapped pony. And again, you're not using an elastic with any of these, so it's much gentler on your hair than your traditional ponytails when you're not, when you would typically use an elastic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to section out a little bit of hair, and it doesn't really matter how much it's going to probably vary from time to time, at least it does for me. And the most difficult part is getting that wrap started. Once you start it, it's really, really simple. So then you can see you've got that hair that is now your hair band and it's wrapped around. So I'm going to secure that with, I could do it with the same bobbies, but this is one of my favorite, the Caprice. It just is kind of flashy and catches light. Um, so I'm going to come alongside that, that band and just grab it. Now one will hold it, but I typically always like to just cause more bling. And then you can try to secure, maybe I'll try and go this side. You want to try to secure that, the end piece so that it doesn't get lost. And if you've got different bobbies, I'll show you here in a second. So, you have, I can still feel that piece setting up, but you get the, the idea. Securing that last wrapped part is the most difficult. But then you have a bob, uh, ponytail, excuse me, without an elastic and only secured with bobby pins. Super comfortable, it does stay all day, and it's much more protective and gentle on your hair. So just work on getting that end piece at the end. Typically I can do it better with a mirror. Um, so I'll show you that. You can also, come at it from different angles. So if I had two, um, instead of coming in straight down, which you can do, you might come down one side of that band and then come up from the base of the band another time so that you have decorative parts at the top and the bottom of that as another option. Okay, lastly, one of my most wow moments with these is doing a bun with bobbies and you could think i know when my daughter did highland dance to do a traditional bun for her they couldn't have any embellishment um it would take like 26 bobbies and then i'd still have to spray that sucker with hairspray till it was completely stiff so i've learned a lot with bobbies and that was before i knew about little rose bobbies so i wish i had known about it back then so but this is a unique bun and you start with a low ponytail and then you create your bun and I just kind of loosely wrap that hair like so. Um, and then I am going to keep those ends in and then I'm going to kind of fold it in itself. So I just kind of walk up those pieces and then you, you kind of curve that edge if you can see that. So I've created that look there and I'm gonna use the posies again and you don't even have to open these up. In fact, I don't recommend opening them up 
for this, but I start, I want them to show at the end. So I'm gonna just stick it in, grab some, and then come back and slide it down in those in. So I start with it upside down, grab some hair, come up and slide down. That holds so well. And I can even kind of maybe pull that up to loosen it so it's not super tight while I hold that to kind of give it some more volume. But you've got the twisted sides, just a unique twist bun with just two bobbies. One held it, um, but again, I like two bobbies to, to show, and this is the, with the two sizes, I just kind of like the dimensional look of that. So again, hopefully you can see, maybe I need to pull this one out a little bit more so it can be seen. Um, but super fun style and super simple anybody can do. And that works with a lot of different hair lengths. You'd be surprised it will hold even super long and thick hair um, with just a couple bobbies. So that was the fun. And lastly, I wanna show you a top knot. And again, I'm going to show you with a blingier, bigger bobby, because if you, the, it has a tendency to get lost in the hair, um, but you can still secure it a top knot with these. So I'll again use the larger posy for this. So with this top knot, I'm gonna take a ponytail toward the top. And I'm gonna do my traditional top knot where I just twist up, do a loop, and then I will tuck out or leap, leave those in depending on what the ends look like. I'm gonna tuck them in today. So I have that loop of hair on my thumb and I'm going to take my bobby upside down to start stick it in and then grab hair from outside, flip it over and tuck it in. Now, normally that feels a little bit loose. I'm gonna do two. I think it depends on how high, how high you get your twist and how tight you wrap it. And then you can kind of pull things, pull it out, loosen it up, but then you have a top knot and see, I, I think it's getting covered up with the top knot. But you can secure a top knot with just a, bow, a bobby and it will hold really well. So great way um, to use those bobbies um, in non-traditional ways. It's just kind of fun. So I hope you enjoyed this. Try them. Um, seeing them in person is believing. They are super strong. Um, I just It's hard to, to demonstrate on how you could hear the snap, um, how strong they really are and sturdy in through a video. Um, but hopefully you'll be able to try them for yourself. And just let me know if you have any questions. And if I find any more ways to wear them, I will be sure and share them here. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Bye-bye.